टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वील सी quotient and this relation is called as the vent of reaction isotherm so this relation is uh, written like this delta g is equal to delta g not plus 2.303 rt log of q means q is reaction quotient or concentration quotient and delta g is free energy change and again uh, free energy change means uh, summation of uh, free energy product minus free energy of reactant this is actually change and q can be concentration quotient or it can be pressure quotient and uh, delta g not means standard free energy change when all the reactant and products are in standard state so standard state is very clear uh, it is the meaning means one atmospheric partial pressure at 25 degree centigrade or 298 kelvin for this one so these two values are different so for pressure different and for uh, concentration different so in terms of concentration this is for kp so in terms of concentration, Kc will be a state will be 1 mole per liter, so this is in terms of pressure. So but at equilibrium, but at equilibrium the driving forces of forward and backward reaction will be equal and opposite. So in these cases since they are uh, equal and opposite, so delta G is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0, the relationship derived by vent of is, uh, this becomes 0, so we can write like this one, and this will be delta G0 plus. 2.303 rd log of k log k means here uh, q will become k at equilibrium q will become at k so k can be qp kp or kc so we can write delta g not equal to minus 2.303 uh, rt log of k so this is actually vent of isotherm relation now delta g not for a particular spontaneous or physical reaction is always negative so this value is always negative then the reaction is only feasible or possible otherwise it will be positive then reaction will not be possible so this will decide delta G will decide or it you can say it is a criteria for spontaneity or the uh, reaction is spontaneous or not so what are the criteria if the delta G is negative or you can say K is greater than 1 there is two value negative means it should be K is equal to 1 not so greater than 1 this means the reaction is going in forward reaction is feasible it is spontaneous and is, it shows a, a large concentration of product till equilibrium is achieved or reached. Concentration or it may be pressure. There are two values there. Concentration or pressure. Second condition that if delta G naught is positive, if the value of this energy is positive, then in that case K will be less than 1 and backward reaction is, for, uh, is possible. This means the reaction is non-spontaneous. This is called a reverse reaction is possible or favored. And in that case, less concentration of product or partial pressure is favored at equilibrium state. So this is another condition. And third, suppose this is 0, then K equal to To keep in mind so in terms of graph we can see these are the three graphs this is the delta this is the extent of reactions so this is going reactant to this direction uh, equilibrium so here at equilibrium extent of forward reaction more so hence k is more so delta g is your negative in this case it will be negative here uh, at equilibrium extent of backward reaction is more so here reaction is more at, because we are so k is less than one uh, in this case we can see at equilibrium the extent of forward is equal to backward reactions so here k is equal to 1 so delta standard free energy can also be given by uh, like uh, delta g naught equal to delta h naught minus t delta s so this is all in standard form so this is also uh, standard enthalpy chain and this is all a standard enthalpy entropy chain so what is entropy entropy is the randomness of the quantities 
so this is also changed so and now put this value delta g uh, that is uh, at equilibrium so at equilibrium this will be minus 2.303 rt log of k and this will be delta h naught minus t delta s from the law of thermodynamics so we can write this value log of k is equal to minus delta h naught by 2.303 uh, plus delta s naught by 2.03 r now here if this is positive quantity if this is positive quantity and k is small if k is small then the reaction is endothermic because value of k is less than 1 if delta s is large now here delta s is large and positive this is positive and large and is only possible when k is greater than 1 so it is greater than 1 this will be positive and large and this is again for the endothermic reaction so in the endothermic reaction delta s should be a small now k is small than endothermic if k is large and delta s is positive then this will be again endothermic the two possible possibilities are there again if delta h is negative then k will be greater than 1 that is true if it is negative that means k is uh, greater than 1 definitely for exothermic reactions and if it is negative and small uh, then delta s standard will be strongly negative so this is this will be your negative this is also negative and the k is greater than 1 so then what happens in this case negative then get k is greater than 1 and if it is negative and small then delta s will be negative then k will be less than 1 then this becomes your less than 1 so just see these points very carefully then you can understand and in this stage delta g naught for the reaction at equilibrium is not at all influenced by the catalyst so in every case if you add catalyst then it is not influenced by the catalyst so actually delta g naught is equal to minus rt natural log k we can write by removing 2.303 so natural log k will be equal to minus g naught by rt so if you take the anti log this becomes your k and this becomes your e to the power minus g naught by rt here a spontaneity of the reaction can be interpreted here we can interpret the spontaneity how if the free energy that is delta g will be your less than zero that is negative so if this is negative this is negative the whole quantity becomes your positive so whole becomes positive means it will be it is always greater than one which makes k is greater than one
from uh, from kp uh, from delta g free kp and from kp putting this value so we are getting at 298 kelvin this much better this is the why uh, actually in second cases there are free energy so here it is doubled here it is doubled so kp if you make the quantity double or triple like this one it is doubled so kp will not change kp but free energy will change so here free energy will change free energy will change on doubling okay so on doubling this one and kp is constant okay so in this cases on solving you get minus 32.98 because on doubling this uh, half into 2 into so you can see the change in uh, we can change the free energy this much energy to this one so this is also doubled you can see clearly from here now let us see uh, next example so this is example of n2o plus n is giving n2 plus o2 delta h given delta s given what is k naught so we know this formula delta g is equal to delta h naught minus t delta s naught so right here is not substitute their value so delta g is equal to this value so write this value this side this value this side so if you solve it so you will get the The slope is delta h by 2.30 था, so this will be our answer D for these questions.